that's happened the past couple weeks. Uh, a couple videos ago, I, I put out a video called I Have More Parts Than Time. Uh, but we got through all those parts. Got the hood on it. Got the 31 spline stuff in it. Uh, got the subframe connectors on. So it's been a productive couple weeks. Oh, and saw this morning up to 302 subscribers. So thank you very much. Uh, I figure that's a, the perfect number to celebrate on a Mustang channel. So uh, again, thank you for all that. It, it, it's, it's awesome. Uh, but back to the rear end. I didn't get a ton of footage from the rear end because I mean, I'm in the garage on kind of short jack stands and, you know, there's two of us under there and the camera was just in the way. Uh, but the biggest hurdle we had with that was the, whoever put the 373 gear in, looks like they used the stock shims, which in the instructions it says, you know, use the stock shims, check backlash and see if you have to add or subtract from the side. Uh, it looks like probably what happened, they just shoved the stock shims in it and let it, let it eat. So the backlash was three thousandths. It was, it was too tight um, and the rear end since I've had it has always kind of whined a little bit not a ton I mean it wasn't like oh lord there's something wrong with the rear end but it always made a little whine on the highway so we got the backlash set set into spec it was almost perfect it was like dead in between the two specs um, check the pattern the pattern looked good so we didn't luckily didn't have to mess with the pinion and the rear end noise is gone so it's a nice little surprise um, so yeah, that went well, and, um, one other thing, I, I did get a 360 GoPro camera, 360 Max, or whatever it's called, um, I kind of saw what you could do with these, and it's intriguing, so I'm, I'm excited to play with this at the track and see what, uh, what kind of cool shots I can get. I played with it a little bit on the hood video, I kind of set it right here, and had it pan back, and then uh, another spot, and had it pan a little bit towards the hood. Um, so excited to try that out of the track, and moving on to the subframe connectors, they went well. Um, thank you, Jamie, for all your help with the rear end and the subframe connectors. Um, so yeah, I got a little footage of a uh, little time lapse of him welding them up. So that's where I'll leave you. Hopefully next time I pick you back up, it's uh, at the track with a 150 hit. So we'll see what the next couple weeks brings. Hopefully it's just as productive as this past couple weeks has been. So, thank you.